okay, well, shooting the videos overhead, doing the binders, that was a fun experiment, but uh, it takes a long time, and I didn't really thrive with that format. Um, I've always been head-on with my videos, and I guess I'm going to keep doing it head-on because I just didn't feel comfortable getting all that stuff out every single time. I've been putting off videos, if you guys have noticed, for the last several weeks just because of how much of a hassle it is. I'm just going to hop on here and show you what I got. Make it easy. You get to see my ugly mug again. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> so uh, I do have several just becauses and several TTMs to show you. Uh, I put stuff in my binders. They're in my binders now. They're not coming back out. Uh, I showed some of it off on some live streams. Um, I do live stream on here, guys, if you don't know. Um, I delete the live streams after I'm done, just uh, when I do a live stream. I like for it to be a free format, say anything, have fun. Uh, and whenever you're recording it, it's going to be on the internet forever, which I know everything's on the internet forever, but if you make it a video, um, I don't know, I feel more constricted. So, um, anyways, uh, I showed that stuff off as much as I could on my live stream. Not going to show it off here in the videos. Uh, I'll try to show off all the stuff I get in that's new. So, uh, it would be a lot faster to make videos this way. So, let's go ahead and get started with a Just Because a JB coming from Reindeer Studios. Um, Scottsworth sent me this note. These are for you, Zane. Hugs and Kisses from Scottsworth. And Scott, I really appreciate it. Uh, I was wanting to trade for this, but you just sent it. Um, but this is Ron Valone. Uh, actually, Scott got a big old bunch of uh, TTM autos from the purchase he made. And uh, I saw this in the box. And I was like, I'll trade you for that. And he just sent me the card because TTMers are awesome and generous. Um, I really appreciate that, Scott. He also sent me this pro line. Bill Pickle, Bill Pickle, and you guys know where that's going. That's going in the oddball name, because you can't have Pickle as a last name and not be in the oddball name project. So thank you very much, Scott. Those are awesome and perfect for the PC for my daughter. Um, this next one is crazy. Dude, Henry, when I said I wanted this, I'm again, I wanted to trade for it. Guys, if I say I want something, it doesn't mean send it to me. It means I want to trade for it. Um, Henry hooked me up with... A very uh, personal gift. Um, first, I'll show these. Sent two wacky package packs. Um, these are actually, I think, pretty popular right now. Uh, wacky packages. If you have a full set, they sell for quite a bit. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with these. Uh, may do some TTM stuff that's weird and funky. We'll see. But uh, I haven't opened them yet, so I'll, I'll come up with something. Uh, but Henry, um, I mentioned. He said his dad wrote a book, and he's a violin specialist. And like, uh, I collect signed books, and I really like books signed by people that are like masters of their hobbies, so or their jobs. So kind of like the head of their uh, the head of their industry, if you will. And Henry's dad, who sadly has passed away, wrote a uh, a book about violin making, which is a very like extremely particular thing that he was very good at and um, I love those books I think you get some of the best information out of books like that and hey he said something about having several signed books left over and I was gonna buy one or trade for it uh, for my collection and Harry just sent it of course because TTMers are awesome autograph collectors are assholes you know that's our motto on the show but TTMers we all take care of each other, and this is above and beyond, because, I mean, um, I don't know how many of these Henry has. I don't think many at all, but uh, he sent this cover for his dad's book, and this isn't an actual signature, I don't think. This is printed in part of the cover, but uh, it has his dad's, I got the autofocus on, so it should focus, uh, his hat, dad's signature right there um, printed on the book cover. Um, I, that's a different book than this which is a book of essays that his dad wrote. So uh, just really awesome um, and signed right there by his dad. I guess his family purchased uh, several of his dad's books back, which happens a lot with Amazon and um, some non-popular books. A lot of authors buy their books back um, at resale price and then resell them. Um, so I guess his family was doing that with the, his father's books, and that one was signed since had several were signed. So... Just really awesome, Henry. I really appreciate that. That means a lot, man. Um, and again, I didn't, I did not, I wasn't asking you to send it. I was wanting to trade for it or buy it or something. Um, 
But yeah, it's just awesome. Send me a note too. I don't read notes on here, but uh, let's go ahead and move on again. Thanks, Henry. That was amazing. Um, Shuffle trades. Uh, Shuffle trades went through January's that were sent out yesterday. So go ahead and get your February submissions in now. That way you get in before the deadline of uh, February 28th, which is, you know, short months. So get those out ASAP. I will show you the hit trade in the next video. Um, but this is a John Grubb sign card. So that's what I got via uh, Shuffle Trades. So that was a nice pickup there. Then we have a couple other pickups that are pretty cool. So this is a pickup for the Roger Maris 61 Home Run Project which is filling out quite nicely. You guys did not see it because I didn't shoot videos on it, but uh, as you can see, we have several signed home run cards now, uh, two pages worth. So um, the ones that uh, have passed away that I can't get and I didn't make a card for, I am filling, whoops, that's what happens when you're on video. Um, <laughs> I am filling with a 1961 Tops card uh, signed by the person. The 61 was the year that uh, Maris hit the 61 home runs. So this is a Russ Kemmerer. Russ Kemmerer. And uh, he gave up home run number 15. So I'm going to be spacing out that binder so it'll have 61 spaces. And then as I get stuff in, cards will be going in spaces. So, uh, yeah, got that in for a purchase. It was real cheap. And then uh, this purchase is a Beckett certified auto from Ernie Harwell in the Topps Fan Favorites set. We can focus in. Look at this fancy focus I got. So uh, real nice there. Again, uh, I've been doing what Chase actually suggested, taking photos of the card and then printing off a photo of the card and putting that in the binder because I tried sticking these in the back of the binder and it started to warp the binder a bit because it's a big old fat binder. So uh, yeah, real nice pickup there. And then this one is crazy. Um, this card is worth quite a bit of money, but uh, I, I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, these are very sought after. Any Hall of Famer in the Topps Fan Favorites set, for whatever reason, goes for like 10 times the normal price of the signature. So you can get like a, a normal Stan Musial for like 30 bucks. If you get a Topps Fan Favorites Stan Musial, it's going to be 200 bucks. So uh, this same applies here. This is Bob Gibson. So a certified auto from, I think, 2005. Really happy with that. I think the person that listed it didn't realize how in demand those were. Uh, that happens sometimes. But, uh, yeah, real happy with that one. Okay, uh, I got a few TTMs I did want to show you from the last three weeks. Um, these are oddball teams, and I'm going to go through. And these are very low-numbered oddball teams. The first is Bobby Chance. Houston Colts legend, and he actually played three games for the Houston Colts. Colt 45s. Um, then we have a custom card of Dodgers legend, Juan Marichal. That was uh, $10 per. And uh, he played two games for the, the guys in blue. Then we have a Rangers legend, Wilson Alvarez, and he actually only played one game. And I think that's the first card uh, that we have in the Oddball Teams binder where they only played one game. So really happy with those pickups, and I had to show you. I pulled them out of the binders because those were so cool. Uh, first TTM, guys. This is coming back from Dick Grote. It's a couple of weeks, but uh, signed three customs and one archives card but this is not the archives card that i collect these are back when archives cards were just reprints like they called archives card reprints even though archives now pretty much means uh using an old design on a new card so uh that's dick Groot. signed it nice he's been a ttm legend forever and i love the customs that i printed up um these are well i'll start with this one so this is a 1980 i think so that was nice. I didn't make that one. Actually, I don't. I, I didn't make any of these. I don't think. Anyways, I can't remember. So this one is. I know I didn't make this one. This is a Dick Grote Duke Blue Devils card. So that's when he was playing baseball in college. Just really happy with that. It turned out awesome. And then this one's my favorite. Uh, Dick Grote Duke basketball player. Back in the fifties, I think. So. 
signed it right there with no signature. I started doing customs with no signature. I think I did make this one actually. Um, I started doing customs with no signature in the signature field on the 52s. And I love it when they sign in that spot. It just looks amazing. Um, <clears throat> sorry for losing my voice, guys. Again, I've been swamped with work and life. Got a new baby. Um, so the old uh, voice is always giving out on me. Uh, next up, we have Dick Stigman. And he gave up uh, the 55th home run to Roger Maris. Signed it nicely there at the bottom. And finally got one of these old timers to sign a sticker. Um, I've sent these stickers out to almost every single old timer that uh, gave up a Roger Maris home run. They haven't signed it, but like maybe 25% of the time. And out of that 25%, almost all of them were signed on the back. Um, well, Stigman actually signed the front nicely. So these actually hold signatures really well if you're using a Sharpie. That's why I send them. But people assume that they won't hold the signature well. As, well they won't hold the signature well if it's a ballpoint pen, obviously, but they do hold Sharpies well. So happy with that. Next we have Norm Bass. And Norm uh, did what several of these guys have done. I think this is the third card that's been signed on the back. So Norm's card right there gave up home run number 27 on uh, June 22nd and the second in inning, Yankees versus A's. I guess I'll say when they uh, gave up the home run. It's kind of fun. Inscribed it to my daughter like I asked and signed the back there. So it stinks that they signed the back, but you know what? You can't be picky. They're giving out free autographs, guys. So... Um, let's see. Let's do this one next. Uh, I got one more after this. Uh, this is Mr. Jeff Cirillo, and this is a custom card that I actually made. This is him playing for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, this is the last team that he played for, I believe, and he played 28 games for the Diamondbacks. Did get a ding up there in the corner. Focus is not working great today, but anyway, uh, Cirillo was an amazing player. Um, I thought he was one per, but I've been seeing people get two back. So uh, I have a couple more cards I need to send that are heritage cards. So uh, I may just send them to and see what happens on the next round. So uh, last one, guys, coming back from an, uh, an inventor legend. Um, again, all these are going in the binder for my daughter, and uh, she inscribed them great and actually wrote a great note. I'll probably be in contact with her because uh, she's a pretty amazing lady. She's in the Internet Hall of Fame for uh, co-developing, or maybe she developed by herself, uh, the Spanning Tree Protocol. I can't remember. Uh, I think she might have done it herself. But uh, made some inventor's cards and used a photo that was tagged as her in, like, a news article, I think. Turns out it's not her. So um, I don't know where that photo came from, but uh, it is not her. Uh, she told me that in the note, but she signed the cards anyway. So this is Miss Radia Perlman. Right there. It looked like her um, and her other photos. So I can see where somebody got confused, but apparently that's not her. Um, so sign that one and then sign this one too to my daughter. And she's a very powerful, you know, woman. She invented a very vital part of the internet. And um, she was very conversational in her, in her letters, conversational in her letter. So we'll probably be emailing her back and forth, uh, talk a little bit about uh, my daughter and stuff, my uh, my daughter's future, and she 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 brought up some STEM stuff. It's it's pretty cool. Um, apparently she works for Dell now, so she also sent a signed business card. So really happy with that return. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving doing these videos head on. This is a lot quicker. I don't have to do a whole setup. I'm not going to be afraid to record because it's going to be a pain in the butt. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed all the stuff. Thank you to Scott and thank you to Henry. Um, you guys are awesome. Remember to get your shuffle trade stuff in ASAP. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Hopefully, if I find time. And I don't get sick of this format. <laughs> uh, you take care, all of you autograph addicts.